Why did you help me in the bar that night? What was I supposed to do? I had to get involved. Thanks so much, you guys, for uh, talking with us today. Um, where did you kind of talk about a little bit of where you see your characters as season two of The Punisher picks up? When we see Dina, um, she is still very much scarred from season one. So she's fixated on this man here, um, the character he Understandable. plays. Understandable. And, um, and she's brought that into the next season. So she's spent a year, she hasn't been seeking help, and then she's been self-medicating, she's been drinking. We pick up in season two, she thinks she doesn't need Frank's help, realises she does, and spends, you know, the entirety of the season deliberating over how she's going to get this vengeance, but, you know, ends up um, in a very satisfying way getting it, I think. Mr Barnes? Uh, I, think, I think for me it was almost like starting a new show, actually. You know, it's kind of like he's had, he's had, uh, he's, he's been, battered and fractured and traumatized almost to a to the nub you know and I think that um, and I think that he's got to try and put those pieces back together that was the sort of metaphor that we were trying to work with in terms of the jigsaw element of, of, of Billy Russo from the comics and try to turn that on its head a little bit and have it and and sort of ground it in the sort of military history of the show as well and and, and have it be about like veteran traumatic brain injury and 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 trying to piece his, his life back together with an extraordinary emotional volatility that, that he doesn't understand and is, he's so used to being in control, that sort of narcissistic kind of ego that it drives him in the first season is kind of, um, is not like um, available to him at the beginning of the season and it's whether, you know, it's a, it's, for him, for me it was about whether people will always revert to type, will always revert to who they are based on how they've been brought up and you know, in Billy's case, kind of abandonment and abuse and, and, and you know, those kind of uh, things, elements to his history. So I think for me, trying to m motivate every choice he makes, you kind of have to, you know, I kind of have to uh, reassess Billy as a, as, a, as, a, as a hero kind of character in order to, to kind of move forward. Did you, uh, was there a lot of um, sort of testing of, of the look of his face? Obviously in the, in the comics, things can be a bit more enhanced. Did they go back and forth about how extreme to make the scars look, that sort of thing? I, I was pushing quite hard for it to be heavier. I wanted to do an eye pulled down and a lip curled up and all that kind of stuff. And But we actually talked about how, you know, uh, a lot of like, um, <clears throat> particularly veterans, you know, your injuries are not visible necessarily and, 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 and how you become misunderstood because people can't see you how you see yourself. And, you know, so we wanted to ground it in that way. We also wanted the idea of, you know, the jigsaw being in his mind and not about how he was reacting, pe people react to how he looks with, 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 with horror. Um, but also our show is, 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 is a show about trauma that navigates those grey areas and, and um, you know. And it's so much, so much trauma when it's on the inside, you know, it's, it's not acknowledged as much. Yeah. But it's much more interesting, I think. I mean, I don't want to speak on behalf yeah. of you, but when you're Please. performing that as, as an actor, um, you're showing an audience how that has damaged you on the inside rather than telling an audience. You know, the first season was about, n the, you know, the, the fall from grace because of his narcissism and his hubris. And I think that it's, to, to just show the flip side of that is, is exactly what's expected. Um, and, and I think it does a disservice to people who watch it to like, to challenge people to like really dig in and feel what someone's, what someone is thinking rather than just be horrified by, mm. by the face. And then the performance is terrific and you see that in what you're doing rather than showing. Did you feel like you both had to up your game for the physical fighting and, and things like that this season? You certainly had a lot more physical stuff, didn't you? I did have a lot more physical stuff. I was kind of, you know, poking at our showrunner. Um, Give me a fight. <laughs> last year. Um, I've always been quite physical and I love, I love training and different kind of fighting techniques. So I said to him, like, let's use this and I really want to. And towards the end of the season, as you know, it gets really intense and it's brilliant. And I was able to use some of that. So it was great. Um, yeah, I love that aspect. Mm. 
you know, this is, show is a very, it's a very grounded show. I mean, you know, no superpowers, that sort of thing. However, did either of you ever have a superhero that you wanted to play, like when you were a kid? Like with the cape and the power. I've got thing. a picture of myself and I'm about f four. And I've got a bit of string that's I've got a yellow piece of paper around my neck, like a sign, but I've drawn I've drawn a, a black bat on it. <gasps> and it's like a yellow, it's like a it's like it's like the saddest homemade child <laughs> Batman have to picture see this. you've ever seen. Mm -hmm. I'll dig it out. And my buddy, my buddy who I've known since I was two, three years old, is is dressed as has is, is got like a Superman, I think. Um, um, but, uh, See, I thought Ben was more of a Catwoman. I thought that would have been your <laughs> go-to. That's because I'm very um, <laughs> um, catty. Mine would be the Joker, I think. <laughs>